they've released two new combine players. Both of you guys, uh, both of the guys you may know very well, in Marshawn Lattimore and Adrian Amos. And some of you guys are asking, is it worth it for you to go after them? Now, as usual, I'm going to tell you guys straight up: if you have the power up, or they're part of your theme teams, or you already have most of what's needed for them, you go after it. From what I've seen with their prices. I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't make sense to invest in any card that, like, for me, a million coins, unless it's like Randy Moss or a crazy glitchy card, it's nothing over a million coins. And even in that case, Randy Moss drops the ball every snap. But I'm going to tell you more in depth why you should not go after these cards if you're not already invested right after this. All right, so pretty much while we get started, I'm going to go ahead and do my daily objectives. I've already uh, won my two games for the day. I finished up my weekend league. I will be getting top 100 rewards for the uh, for weekend league, even though I didn't play like 40 or 50 of my games. Um, I just don't have the time to do it. But I'm going to tell you this right now, right, guys? You have to understand in this game, the way that you win Madden games is not something that is as normal as you would like it to be. For most of you guys that play online, you know what I'm talking about. Your opponents are usually going to come out and their first intention is to throw the ball through your body. Now, if you guys haven't already subscribed to GMI's World Gaming, please feel free to go over there and do so now. Um, because I've been giving you guys a lot of full gameplays, kind of going in depth with it. And like I said, you guys are going over there crazy. You guys are enjoying the full gameplays. And I really appreciate your support over there because it's going to be so much, so much more games going over there in the future. I'm trying to get everybody to go because this is going to be pretty much Madden and I'm going to be adding some 2K very soon. Um, if, if I decide to, you know, just want to completely go crazy because some of you guys have been asking for some 2K. So I'm going to try to get some of that out to you. But for the most part, we're going to keep building our teams, having fun with Mutt going in depth in the promos and stuff like that right here at G Myers World. But again, let's touch base on the fact that the cornerbacks don't usually do what their stats say. So in that regard, when you're talking about going after a card that's worth, you know, like I looked at um, the Amos earlier, he was very expensive. Lattimore was like 2 million coins. There is no way possible that even if I was invested in Lattimore, I've been playing Madden the entire year, and through the patches, the game has gotten progressively more ridiculous. It wouldn't make sense for me to invest in something like that, and I wouldn't recommend it to you guys to start to invest in it if you haven't already started doing it, because it doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to do right now is this. We're going to talk about some of the different things that we could possibly do. Uh, in exchange for not going after those cards after we go and look at the prices of it now the price probably went down a little bit but again it is something that we're going to take a look at after i get my daily objective because we got to make sure that we're on target for ryan shazier 99 overall all right so okay that part's done let's back out of this and now we're going to go into the store and take a look at some of the things that are happening so what are we going to do here we're going to go to the first one we're going to do we're going to go Lattimore. all right some of you guys have Saints theme teams, so this is a no-brainer. But again, you're not spending this kind of coin. You would, it would be smarter for you guys to get um, some of the cheaper team builders and go gamble for this card and try to pull it rather than spend the coins that they're asking. Th this is the guy that was there earlier. Obviously, he's never going to sell for that. I don't think he's ever going to sell for this. I could be wrong, but I don't think that anybody is that stupid to spend 1.7 on Marshawn Lattimore when you could go... You know what I'm saying? You could just wait it out. It's no way that this card is going to last that long. Why do I think that? Let's just take a look at some of the other cards that I have right now. Let's look at Rondé Barber, for instance. All right? When you look at both of their cards, you can see that other than the press, you know what I'm saying, and the jump, everything is pretty much the same. And Rondé Barber is actually, you know, he's, he's shorter by two inches, but he plays very, very well when he's needed. So it's not like Marshawn Lattimore is going to change life for you in this game because he's still going to be unresponsive when the ball is thrown at him. Like, I just played some games where I'm going to be tweeting out some clips from my most recent live stream. You're going to be like, yo, what, what's your corner doing? That's why I don't primarily use corners anymore. I just put, I put free safeties and strong safeties at that position, and they help out a little bit more for me because of their block shed and stuff like that with the run because that's what the game has become. People are coming out running inside zone, they're running dives, and they're going right at you and falling four for 97 million yards. So you have to make sure that you're prepared for that. How do you get prepared for that? You change up the way that you play. Now, on a theme team, he's going to look godlike with his stats, but that's all for the visual aspect. That's it. 
other than that, there's nothing really with it. So, you know, up front, looking at the card, if you guys are just lacking this, I would not spend right now for this card. I would just wait it out and see what happens, or I would gamble for it inside the store and try to pull it. Even though some of you guys are telling me it's very, very rare to pull a limited, because I know that it's, you know, it's something that can be done, I would gamble with it until I could pull it, but I would not spend 1.72. He's not, cornerbacks are not worth that kind of coin in this game because they don't play defense. So it doesn't make any sense. Like if they were playing defense and it really mattered, like the older Maddens, I would tell you guys, honestly, look, go after it. It's something that's going to be, you know, reasonable for you. It makes no sense to do it. It's very, very stupid to even think that that's going to be something that's going to help your game. All right. Now with this guy, he's coming down. He was, you know, he was at 1.4. He's coming down. He'll be well under a million coins very, very soon. Why do I know that? Adrian Amos, I had him for a while, all right? Um, it wasn't like I don't have any experience playing with him. If you go back to my earlier videos, I have numerous gameplays with him. The one thing that this guy is known for uh, when he was with my team was getting mossed uncontrollably. He was getting mossed to the point where it's like, yo, is this dude even there? So I don't care that his speed is like that right now, that he's a 96, he's going to be easily chemmed, you know, up to a 99. Like I told you, that's all cosmetics. This guy, overall, with the way that the game plays, he's not really that good. That's just the brutal honesty of it. Uh, when I raid sold him, I, I actually slept like a baby that night because I felt that I did the right thing, and I've never looked back. Like, he's not a guy... You see, like, how I went back to Ed Reed, or, uh, you know, I'll go back to certain players. Even I went back... I even went back to Barry once. I wouldn't go back to Adrian Amos because he was getting mossed on a consecutive level. Like, you know, Barry got mossed every now and again, Every game I went into, if you threw the ball to his side and I clicked on the picket, they would give you a one-arm dot. It would be crazy. But he is just something about him. He's ready and willing to get mossed at any time, and I just can't deal with that. It, it's not something that is going to help me out at all. So those are the things that really um, affect what I'm, you know, my, my choices with it. Now with his block shedding, you can see he's not that good of a block shedder. Uh, Steve Atwater, I put him in that corner. He's getting off the block usually. But what most guys are doing now. When they're running the ball, they're coming out doing the old school thing like the older Maddens. They're coming out and putting a lot of tight ends out there. I do it sometimes, but I do it in short sets like I pro, uh, you know, flex. And um, what I try to do, it's like the slot flex where you have two people on one side. I put two tight ends there, got some lead the way action going. That's that's typically how I run it. What I've seen other dudes doing, you know, obviously it's not anything new. You know, you come out and trips tight end and you have a lot of these guys out there. These players that have the higher block shed are going to make more sense to have out there. Um, with that regard, it, it's something that you should definitely take a look at and try to figure out exactly what's going on with it. Don't just assume, you know, what's going to happen. You got to make sure that you understand exactly what's going to happen uh, with the way that these players are because, again, you, you just don't want to put yourself in a situation where it's not really helping your game with the decisions that you're making because if you've been, if you've been using Adrian Amos... You can't honestly tell me that he hasn't been mossed more than anyone in the nation. Like, this dude is... Most people... Like, when I raid sell a card, some of you guys be like, Yo, bro, what you doing? A lot of you guys that were watching me and watching my gameplays and seeing what was happening with Adrian Amos, you're like, Yo, bro, that was a good move. You didn't even think about it. And at the time I got rid of him, he was still top dollar. So, ultimately, that's what it's all about. Like, this dude right here, again, he's always been one of the faster, harder, hitting tight ends. But he's always been terrible. You know what I'm saying? As far as if you don't blitz him or use him in nickel, he's useless when he's out there on the field. And that you know, I just want to make sure you guys understand that. I also want to point out that this is the final day of these daily solos. So if you EA gave everybody a chance with being able to miss a couple days and still be able to get their free 97 overall player, everyone should have it. If you don't have enough or you're missing one or two. I don't believe that EA is going to give you anything. Based on what they've been saying and what I've been hearing, I think that they're going to start giving everybody the opportunity with, like, you know, give or take one or two days missed to be able to do it. For the questions that I've been getting asked about the fact that you got over the amount that you needed, will they give you an additional two? I doubt that as well. EA is not Santa Claus. Like, they're not coming out like, yo, bro, I'm about to give these dudes free cards. EA doesn't do stuff like that. So I don't know where you guys get that from, but you got to get it out of your head, and you got to get it out of your head ASAP, because EA don't play that, and homie don't play like EA. That has nothing to do with anything. But make sure you get these final ones in. Um, they are relatively easy. I don't see any 
reason why it shouldn't be done. So get that part done. But again, I wanted to dissect it as I told you guys before. I'm going to try to make sure that when the cards come out, you guys know what's up. For instance, if I'm waiting for a card, I'm waiting for that card for a reason. I'm not waiting for it because, I, you know, the dude's garbage. Like, I already know. Like, okay, what? how many yards am I missing? Really? Five yards? Are we running a slant? Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you guys like, yo, if you already have, you know, invent, you've already invested in the card, just don't do it. I'm just simply saying that it doesn't make much sense to invest in a card that you know, absolutely, bro, is going to get mossed uncontrollably. I, I'm just trying to reduce your levels of stress because it helps to reduce my level of stress when I'm able to let you guys understand what's actually going on within the game. So get these solos done. If you are looking to get and Adrian Amos, or you're looking to get a Marshawn Lattimore, I would recommend going the route of trying to pull him in the store. If you have the coins for it, to just go and try to get enough scouting points, I'm going to actually go back and try to do a little bit more scouting myself because you guys wanted to see a little bit more of that action. So I'm going to get to that and try to get that done for you. And uh, I'm going to go play around with the scouts too and try to see with the 80 plus overall if I can get lucky. That's a way for you to test it out. If you already have a card that can give you that amount, for lesser than what these guys are going for. Say you go ahead and you get a 97 and you buy one, right? And then you want to gamble with that inside this random combine star. You might be able to pull the card you want from here for so much less. You see what I'm saying? Just go buy one of the cards that have high value, sell it, and then gamble in this. If you have a decent amount of scouts that you want to play around with to see if you can get lucky, gamble with this and then use your high pulls and then go over here and gamble with that because to my knowledge, people have said that you can pull the limiteds from this set. But do not waste your coins and try to spend over a million, bro. Don't, don't do that. It's really not worth it for those players, whether you have a theme team or not. Do not overspend. The prices will be reduced soon. Just be patient. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.